I was always a left brain, right brain child. I scored exactly the same in all those standardized tests. But then there was the idea that I grew up in a very working class immigrant family. The idea of having a life in the arts wasn't really inside that realm of possibilities, a life that would ensure financial success, something that would be secure. And so I studied engineering because I was a whiz in math and I loved math. But there was always a creative spirit that came through. And so after, after a couple of years, after graduating from engineering, I went on and started exploring poetry, just, just as I say for fun, doodling with poetry. And I think that pureness of heart was, was really one of the keys of, of sort of moving forward in poetry because I wasn't doing it with apprehension. I wasn't doing it with, um, with this sort of expectation out of it. It was really a pureness of just trying to express my creative spirit. I feel I've become a better poet because I am an engineer, and I feel I've become a better uh, engineer because I am a poet. Our educational system is so, has become so pigeonholed. If you're an engineer, you can't do this. If you're a poet, you can't do that, and et cetera, et cetera, with different careers. The idea that knowledge is knowledge, that everything that you learn in life at some point comes back to you and makes you a better whoever you are. And when I discovered poetry and the, or, or the arts in general, I just realized the incredible power that it has to make us ask really important questions of ourselves and lead us in a way towards healing. Healing scars that maybe we didn't even realize we had. That's kind of what I'm, what I, the point I've reached in my life, that, that all this has been really one great story. They're not these disparate things. And I've accepted that as a, as a blessing, actually.